Hi everyone. Let's solve this right away. We have b plus b to the power of 3 equals 10. Okay, how do I deal with this? The first step is for me to rearrange. I want to write b to the power of 3 first, knowing that it has the biggest power or the bigger power. So I'm going to write b to the power of 3 plus b equals 10, right? Now, if you go ahead again, you can do that. You can do b to the power of 3 plus b equals 8 plus 2. Okay, remember that I could have done 5 plus 5. But 5 plus 5 will not work because I already have this number here. I have this term here in mind. This term here should not be 5, should not be 6, should not be 7, should not be 4, but 8. Right? So now, I'm going to write b to the power of 3 plus b equals 2 to the power of 3 plus 2. So that if I want to rearrange, I will now have b to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3, then plus b minus 2 equals 0. Right? Now, this here can be dealt with separately and this separately. Here we have the difference of two cubes. And remember that if you have x cube minus y cube, this is the same as x minus y into x squared plus a um, plus x y right plus x y then plus y squared. This is what we have. So now our b stands for x, and our two will stand in for the y. So we now have b minus 2. Then in this bracket, we are going to have b squared plus xy is now b times 2 and that is 2b plus y squared is 2 squared and it is equal to 4. Then we close this. Remember, I still have b minus 2 in the other bracket before I equate to 0. Now, looking at what we have here and this, b minus 2 is common. So, it's the common factor. It comes out. Now, from here, I have b squared plus 2b plus 4. That's what is left on this side. Then here, this is b minus 2 divided by b minus 2, and it's going to give positive 1. Then we close and equate to 0. The next thing, we are multiplying these two terms. By the way, we are going to have two terms, the one in this bracket and the one in this other bracket, right? But mind you, we can still simplify the, the, the terms in this bracket. So we have b minus 2, our common factor. Then from here, we have b squared plus 2b plus 5, because we have 4 plus 1, and that is 5, then we equate this to 0. Now, from here, it is b minus 2 to be 0, or b squared plus 2b plus 5 to be 0. You should know when to apply this rule. From here now, our b is going to be 0 plus 2, and definitely... Our b is equal to 2. This is the solution to the equation. I mean, one of the solutions. Now, we are going to get the other solutions as we pick out this quadratic equation. Let's pick it out immediately. Okay, so here we have the quadratic equation. And like we do, we, we normally use our formula. Um... Um, b squared equals minus b. By the way, there's going to be a b in the formula. So permit me to turn this equation to something like x, y squared, not x, y, something like um, 
x squared plus 2x plus 5 equals 0. But mind you that our x is equal to the b in the equation, right? So now what is the formula? The formula is going to be x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. We changed the, the variable because if we had used b here, it means that we'll have b in two places and that will not be correct. Okay. Now let's continue. Our x now will be in place of minus b, I'm going to write minus 2 because from this equation, our b is positive 2. c is 5 and a is 1, the coefficients of x squared. So we have plus or minus. Square root of b squared is going to be 2 squared minus 4 times a is 1 and c is 5. This is divided by 2 times 1 because a is still 1. Now x from here is minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 squared 4 minus 4 times 1 times 5 will give 20. So we divide the whole of this by 2. Now our x from here is minus 2 plus or minus square root of negative 16 and then we divide by 2 because 4 minus 20 is negative 16. Now we can rearrange what we have here, right? So x is minus 2 plus or minus we have the square root okay this is too long the square root of 16 right then multiply by the square root of negative 1 so that we can just find the square root of 16 and if you multiply this and this it gives you back the square root of negative 16 this is divided by 2 so our x will now be minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 is square root of 16 is 4 then square root of negative 1 is i then this is divided by 2 so that x will now be 2 into minus 2 is minus 1 then plus or minus 2 into 4 is 2 then we put in the i this is 2 in 1 so let's bring the the three solutions together Okay, so we got our x1, the first value, to be 2. The second value, x2, is from here, minus 1 plus 2i. Then the third value is from here, 2, but negative this time. So our x3 is the third value, and it's minus 1 minus 2i. So these are the three solutions.